Hi, as the title says, Hardware Video Acceleration API is no longer supported by Fedora. Mesa, the graphic library, has been built with full VA API support for years, but now Fedora is removing MPEG-related codecs decoding acceleration support. It affects Fedora 37 and possibly retroactively older releases. Of course, this is extremely frustrating for Fedora users who enjoyed the support up to this point. What should they do now? Decode videos with the CPU? That's not cool, because in this case, the CPU becomes so hot, you can literally cook meat on it. Good job, Red Hat. I almost switched from Gentoo to Fedora. Soon I will get rid of Gentoo and install something like Fedora or maybe even Void Linux. But now I don't know what to do. Thanks Gentoo for still providing VA API use flag. What is the reason for this change? Red Hat realized that they illegally distributed the codecs and thus infringed MPEG LA rights by distributing their patents. But Ubuntu, controlled by Canonical, still does it. You wonder why? Apparently, Canonical has balls and can stand up for their freedom. Oh, they just have got the license. Red Hat hasn't, and as a multi billion corporation, they could become a gold mine for MPEG LA company in a lawsuit. Also, Fedora developers claim that they shipped MPEG VA API for years accidentally. So, what should Fedora users do? I see several solutions a Fedora users can complete to solve this problem. First, install Ubuntu. If you don't like it, see the second option. Second option, install Arch Linux, by the way. Third, use some hacks and unofficial tricks to restore the support. I don't really use Fedora, so write your workarounds in the comments, if you have any. And the last option is to ignore this change and enjoy your over 100% CPU usage. After all, you should utilize those megahertz you paid for. All of this made me wonder, should I leave Gentoo and just install problematic software from Flatpak? Like this video if you watched it with video card acceleration enabled and see you in the next one.